Today we'll be doing an unboxing and review of the LG AN MR650A Magic Remote Control for LG Smart TV. Welcome back to Steve's Tech Vlog. This is the part 2 continuation of the review for the LG 49 inch 4K HDR TV that I received a few days ago. And today we'll be taking a look at the remote control of the TV. So there we have it. So this thing just came in the mail today. A few days ago, I bought a new LG 49 inch 4K LED TV and the vendor has promised to uh, give me a free gift uh, which is this uh, magic remote uh, but uh, the initial shipment, the vendor has uh, not shipped it. So after a few calls, they had promised to ship it and uh, it basically arrived today. So this is the AN-MR650A Magic Remote for LG Smart TV. Let's have a look at this. Um, let's see if we can open this thing up. Okay, that's just a box and that's the remote control. Oops, move this aside. Now at first glance, uh, on first feel, this remote actually feels a lot more substantial than the standard remote that came in the TV box. And it actually feels a lot more ergonomic and uh, good as well because uh, there's like a curved back that fits very well in the palm of my hands. And there's actually like a taper down uh, and a small notch that I could like put my forefinger in and it holds the remote very steadily. Um, what is the difference between this and the standard remote? Well, I have had to find out later when um, I try to use this and I'll shoot some videos afterwards. So it looks like there are still the standard Netflix and Amazon uh, video keys. Looks pretty standard. It looks like a um, microphone Probably like a voice command. Not sure, I'll have to look at it afterwards. Okay, and uh, the battery goes in at the behind. Let's see how I can actually turn this thing up. Probably in here. I'll uh, fit the batteries afterwards. Alright, so uh, this is a quick unboxing and we'll jump straight into using the remote right now. See you in a bit. Now, the one on my left, which is the square or rectangular version. This is the standard remote that came in the box of the TV and this should come with all TVs. Now on my right hand side which uh, looks a bit, a bit more oval, this is actually the LG Magic Remote Control which is optional. Of course um, when I purchased the TV the vendor actually gave this as a free gift. So let's have a look at what the differences are. Okay, Let's have a look at the standard remote first. Now, this thing comes in the box and uh, this is the standard remote, uh, it runs on two AAA batteries. On, uh, you have the power button which turns on and off the TV. You've got the keypad and uh, the standard volume, channel changing and then you have got the selection keys. Now, the standard remote also comes with a dedicated Netflix and uh, Amazon uh, video button and a home key to access apps and then certain functions for uh, controlling the uh, set-top box and so on. Now, operating this remote is fairly simple and probably the same for every TV, well except for the application. If I want to go to the home screen, i uh, hit the home button which is here and it goes to the home as you can see. Uh, so I scroll around the home via the navigation keys up down left right and ok to select so as you can see i'm scrolling through the applications okay this is quite straightforward i guess the only difficulty in using a standard remote is when you need to key in information as per a keyboard so so for example if i went to youtube And if I wanted to search for something, using this to navigate the keyboard, it's really a pain. 
let's head back home then yeah So this is a standard basic remote that comes in the box of the TV. Now let's take a look at the optional LG Magic Remote Control for the LG TV. For me, this Magic Remote, which is more oval in shape, feels a lot more ergonomic. It's got almost like a rounded back and a tapered front where I can rest my fingers. So it feels a lot more comfortable compared to the standard remote. Now, uh, functionally, it's almost exactly the same. It's got basically the keypad, um, volume and program controls. Instead of the four-way navigation key or the four-button navigation key, now it comes with a four-way rocker and a central button that clicks and scroll. Uh, it still has that dedicated uh, buttons for Netflix and uh, Amazon videos. Uh, one or two, there are actually two uh, additional functions that comes with the Magic Remote. Uh, one is a air mouse control and one is actually voice remote control. Now to access the air mouse control, as you can see the screen, right, and the remote, if I click the center navigation key, or the center, center scrolling key the mouse actually appears and it actually points to where I want to point it so basically if I go to my application home so you can see that now navigation around the application home is much simpler now it actually becomes uh, even more intuitive for example when I want to search for something so if I start up, for example, the YouTube app, and if I click on search, now I can then easily key in, like uh, by just moving and clicking that the center button. Instead of using the navigation keys as compared to the um, standard remote. All right. So let me just head back up. Okay. The other function basically is the voice search. So if I hit the uh, voice search button here, uh, just to be mindful that the microphone is actually located up towards the tip of the remote control. So if I hit the voice search, YouTube music videos. So it actually lets me search through YouTube like this. LG TV review. So the voice search function, it's uh, really convenient. Um, however, it basically only searches through YouTube uh, and the web. And the air mouse control basically let you navigate by just scrolling to the edge of the TV. Very simple, very useful. So these are the differences between the standard remote, which is the rectangular device on my left side, and the LG Magic Remote. The LG Magic Remote has the um, air mouse function. Basically, you can just point and it navigates. It's got this scrolling clickable wheel and it's got a voice search function uh, where, whereas in the standard remote to navigate we have to use the navigation button uh, and there is no voice search now in the market the LG magic remote probably costs about 30 to 35 US dollars and um, personally for me I think that it's actually well 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 worth the investment so that's my very basic quick review of the LG Magic Remote and uh, if you do have an LG TV, this is a recommended add-on that you probably want to get.